These days there's a lot of free Wi-Fi networks, but a lot of times these free Wi-Fi networks will have block sites and they'll have monitoring software such as WebSense that keeps you from getting to the sites you want to get to. This tutorial is going to show you if you have an SSH server set up at home or access to one, all you need is a Firefox, a plugin for Firefox, and a free SSH client to get around that. This is going to assume you have Firefox installed, so go ahead and launch your Firefox client. And once you launch that, um, we're going to go out to Google, and the first thing we're going to do is download putty.exe. This is the free SSH client that's going to allow you to set up your tunnel. Just click on the download page after you uh, get your search results. And once the page loads up, just scroll down just a little bit till you find putty.exe. Click on that, and uh, go ahead and save it anywhere. The default save location is fine, just anywhere on your hard drive. Once that downloads, uh, we're going to go back up and we're going to head out to Google again. And once we get to Google, we're going to do a search for the Foxy Proxy plugin for, um, for Firefox. Just type in Foxy Proxy and it'll pop right up. Click on the download link and uh, there's a couple of different versions of Foxy Proxy. Um, standard, basic, and plus. We're really only concerned about the basic that gives us the functionality we need. So go ahead and download that. And you click on the link, it's going to bring you to another page that has a uh, continue to download button. Click on that. And once you do that, it's going to give you an option to add it to Firefox. This will download it and install it directly into Firefox without having to mess with any uh, plugins. So just go ahead and uh, pick to install it now. It's going to download it, show you a little status, and when it's done, it's going to ask you to restart Firefox. So let's do that right now. Click on the Restart Firefox and wait a little few seconds until it pops back up. And once it does pop back up, there it is. Uh, it's going to show you a window behind the scenes here that shows that the plugin has been installed. You can go ahead and just close that window, and uh, in the tools menu, there's a new Fire, uh, Foxy Proxy basic menu item. It's not configured right now, so we're going to go ahead and show you how to configure PuTTY now. Okay, so go ahead and navigate out to wherever you downloaded that PuTTY.exe file. Um, I'm on Windows 7 here, so I'm just going to go ahead and type in PuTTY in here, and it's going to find the exe for me, so I'm going to click on that. Yeah, I'm just going to select the default option here, and then uh, this is PuTTY. This first screen allows you to set up the server, and what we're concerned with is this SSH area and tunnel. All we need is the dynamic tunnel. Uh, we're just going to type in port 5080 here. You don't need to give it any IP address or anything. You just type in uh, 5080, click add. And then um, after you're done with that, we can go back to the main settings. So scroll up a little bit, and we can type in the IP address of our site. I'm going to block it out here because uh, I'm using my live site, so don't want a bunch of people trying to hack in there. <laughs> so that's uh, blocked out, but you would just type in your IP address, and the port is uh, 22, give it a name, and save it. So now when we launch it, it's going to ask you to accept the default certificate because you haven't connected to the site yet. It'll only do this for the first time. Hit yes. Type in your username and your password. And then when you're done with that, it's going to give you a menu prompt. You can minimize this window because we're done with that. We're connected to our SSH site. So let's go back into Firefox Tools, Foxy Proxy, and we're going to go into options and configure our first proxy. So go ahead and create a new one. And you have to make sure that the SOX5 is checked or else this whole thing won't work. And then just leave the um, SOX5 um, radio button checked as well. We're going to type in 127.0.0.1, which is our looped back address to our local machine, and port 5080. Save that and close out. And now we've created our proxy, but we haven't activated it yet. So um, we're still 
de deactivated. So if I try to go to YouTube on this network I'm on, it's blocked. So I cannot get the YouTube. So this is where Foxy Proxy is going to come in handy. We're going to go in and we're going to select our the proxy that we created. And now you can see down in the bottom right hand corner here that it's uh, it's active now. So now if we try to go to YouTube again, we should get some different results. And it's loading, it's doing, and there it is, YouTube. And you can see the the little spinning whirly gig thingy majigger down in the bottom right hand corner. That's showing us that uh, Foxy Proxy is working. So if we go into tools, go back into Foxy Proxy, we can see that our our uh, proxy that we created is working. If we click to disable it, and then we try to go to YouTube again, it's going to use our default network with no proxy, and it's blocked again. All we have to do is uh, re-enable that, and we're good to go. So that's all there is to it. You can now bypass most of those block sites. It won't work on every network, and uh, please remember, if you use what we showed you here, um, although it's not illegal, it could get you banned or in trouble at work, <laughs> so we're not responsible for any problems this may cause. For more tutorials, uh, please come visit us at LearnFilms.com. Thanks.